good morning to you all and welcome to our service for the 8th of May. This is Easter 4. It's wonderful to have you join us online. It would be wonderful to see you in the church. Let's begin in prayer. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with shouts of joy. Acknowledge that the Lord is good. Remember that he has made us and that we are his. We are his people, the flock of his pasture. Enter God's gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to God and bless his holy name. Give thanks and bless his holy name, for the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. support, your love, your help in hand. We need, O oh God, your word to guide us, your spirit to inspire us, your strength to hold us upright. Be present with us at this hour of worship. Help us to bless your most holy name. Make us the people you want us to be. All of this we ask in the name of the risen one, Christ Jesus, our Lord and Saviour. Amen. Amen. We shared in now some words from the Easter anthems. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast. Not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. See yourselves therefore as dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, 
even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh, death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised. Where, O oh, death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we will all be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh, death, is your sting? We share words now from Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff. They comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of the Lord for ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now and, and shall, shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Revelation chapter 7 verses 9 to 17. After this I looked, and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, tribe, people and language, standing before the throne and in front of the Lamb. They were wearing white robes and were holding palm branches in their hands, and they cried out in a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. All the angels were standing around the throne and the elders and the four living creatures, they fell down on their faces before the throne and they worshipped God, saying, Amen. Praise and glory, wisdom, thanks and honour, and power and strength be to our God for ever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders asked me, these in white robes, who are they? Where do they come from? And I answered, Sir, you know. And he said, these are they who have come out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore they are before the throne of God and serve him night and day in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will spread his tent over them. Never again will they hunger. Never again will they thirst. The sun will not beat upon them nor any scorching heat. For the lamb is at the centre of the throne and will be their shepherd. He will lead them to springs of living water. And God will wipe away all tears from their eyes. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Let's hear a reading now from the Gospel of St John. Then came the feast of dedication at Jerusalem. It was winter and Jesus was in the temple area, walking in Solomon's colonnade. The Jews gathered around him saying, how long will you keep up in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I did tell you, but you do not believe. The miracles I do in my Father's name speak for me, but you do not believe because you are not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. I am the Father's one. I am the Father, our one. This is the Gospel of our risen Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We share now words from the song of Christ's glory. At, At the, the name, name of Jesus, Jesus every knee shall bow. Christ Jesus was in the form of God, but he did not cling to equality with God. He emptied himself, taking the form of a servant. He was born in human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on the cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name. That at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Glory, glory to the Father and to the Son and, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was in the beginning, is, is now and shall be forever. Amen. At the name of Jesus every knee shall bow. whole church with the company of all the redeemed let us confess and proclaim our Easter faith I, I believe, believe in God, God the Father Almighty creator, creator of heaven and earth 
I believe, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, Son our Lord, Lord who was conceived, conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and that he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us share time now in intercessionary prayer. Lord God, you are holy and altogether too wonderful for words to capture or for our minds to comprehend. You have formed us, made us, created us, and called us to union with yourself, to fellowship with your spirit, to peace and joy in your eternal presence. You have granted us a world, you have placed us in that garden, and have given us companionship and responsibility. Help us, God, to be worthy of these things. Make us both hearers and doers of your word. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, we thank you for seeking us out as a shepherd seeks out his sheep. We thank you for keeping us safe, for standing with us in adversity, for blessing us with all that we have. Help us to listen more to you than we do right now. Give us faith to follow you more perfectly. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for peace in this troubled world, especially holding our brothers and sisters in areas of conflict before you. Show us the way to peace on earth, that we may live true to our Christian calling. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, there is so much wrong in this world, yet we also see this world, in this world, much that is right. Revive your spirit within us and within the right, that it may prove stronger than the wrong. Make us people who will listen and obey. Make us people who are able, through our listening and obeying, to show forth your blessings to others in need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we hold before you the special concerns that are placed in our hearts this day. Thinking of the young man who is seriously ill, the family that has no faith to help them in times of trouble, the woman who does not trust and thus cannot share the pain that is in her life, the couple who have been separated by age and disease. We bring before you all those who are struggling at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, we pray for all those who have been resurrected into your eternal presence, praying that their souls may rest with peace and tranquillity. We pray too for those left behind, praying for your loving embrace to comfort them always. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We spend some time now in the stillness of this time of worship, offering God the personal prayers of our hearts and minds. Heavenly Father, we bring you these and all our prayers, the prayers of our communities, the prayers of our hearts, through Jesus Christ, who comes before you to intercede for us. Amen. Amen. God of life, who, who for our redemption gave, gave your, your only begotten Son to the death on the cross, and by his glorious resurrection have delivered us from the power of our enemy, grant us so to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his risen life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as the Saviour has taught us. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as and we forgive those who trespass against us, and, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O God, you have poured out upon your people in this place the riches of both the world and of your grace. Help us to share these riches. Bless what we offer here today. 
may be worthy of us and of what you have done for us. We ask in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Amen. In the power of the Holy Spirit, we now go forth into the world to fulfil our calling as people of God, the body of Christ. Go in peace, love and care for one another in the name of Christ. And know that God is your shepherd and that you are his people. And may God comfort you with his rod and his staff. May you hear his voice calling to you and may you always respond. And may his love and his joy and his strength uphold you and be seen in you both now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Amen. Amen.